this is amazing guys this one check this out like um this is the compost bed that i had and i did a video before and showed you guys but check this out this is the squash plants that are growing out of the compost pile and um this is yellow squash i believe so you can see the yellow squash down here yellow straight neck squash and there's a couple bigger ones over here that we haven't picked yet but um we've been getting some some good uh good squash off this vine I'm very happy, but there's a couple couple in here. There's one, two, and this is the one I did the video on that broke. And it did it did come off just a little bit there, and it looks like there's something eating the, the stem in the bottom. But it's still alive, it's just not doing well. Um, but that's just the trick, man. Once we once the stem breaks, guys, it's hard to, to get the plant to stay healthy like that. Um, I did lose a couple, the ones that were in here. Uh, there was um, a yellow straight neck squash back here, another one up here, and then the zucchini, check this out, but we got squash borers, and the squash borers split the stems right in two. So I told you guys when I did the other video, we've got bad squash borer problems. But anyway, the, uh, the good news is that we have one plant that we decided to grow that's a gourd in the gourd family, and it's squash borer resistant, and that is the green stripe kushaw. So I give you the green striped kushaw, this is one plant in all its glory, and it's actually growing up onto the grapevine um, over here. And you can see there's actually a green striped kushaw gourd right here. So this is the, the green striped kushaw, guys. We've only got one so far, pretty happy about it though. I'm excited, and I didn't have to pollinate it, it just started, it came on by itself. I was going to come out here and pollinate them when I saw some um, female flowers to make sure I was going to get some uh, some fruit off of it or vegetables and um, I, did, I never actually saw that flower so it, it pollinated on its own and there's another one right here too. Hey guys, Tom with Permaculture Wilmington here and today we are harvesting a green stripe push-up. Here we have it in all its glory. Everything you're seeing here, right here, and this is all one vine. It starts here and branches out. And I buried this part of the vine over here so we could, just in case a vine borer or something um, chewed into this and decided to kill the plant, um, we would have at least one other runner that was rooted. So, so far this is, a, this is supposed to be vine borer resistant. And all the vine borer resistant plants that we've tried to grow so far um, have gotten vine borers in them so, and died out. That's why this is pretty much, this is the last one. If you guys saw the other videos, there was, um, there used to be a zucchini right here and two yellow squash across from each other. And this is the only one left now. So I'm, I'm willing to bet that this is definitely uh, vine borer resistant as it said on the instructions or on the, the uh, seed packet. So this came from Baker Creek and it is growing wonderfully. So right over here we have our green striped kushaw that has been growing for I guess a couple weeks now. But um, this is the only one that we've got that is currently on the vine. But uh, I'm very grateful to have that and this is going to be mixed into some Alfredo right now. So we're going to stir fry it and that is going to be some delicious, um, I think I'm going to blacken it like, like we do, like normally you would do with shrimp, blackened shrimp, uh, same kind of recipe, but I'm going to do it with this instead since Jess is vegetarian and I just had shrimp yesterday. So this is a, a, a good one to use guys, I'm excited, so just sharing what's going on here and uh, how beautiful this is. So let's see if we can get it down. All right, guys, very exciting. Green striped kushaw. Very cool. Alrighty, so that's our little hotbed garden. Um, and it has been wonderful. I mean, the squash at the bottom and what's been growing in here, we did get a couple um, squash before the, the vine borers got the plant. So we got two zucchini and two squash. Uh, and I know, I know that's not a lot, but I mean, at least we got something. 
and we definitely saw how well they grow here so that's really nice but now we know to grow this one instead so this one is the producer um, thank goodness because we really do like squash um, but we really don't like vine borers they don't do so well for us and I don't think there's any more under here Let me put this guy to the side here I just harvested most of these day before yesterday so yep that's it that's all we got guys but I don't see any signs of damage on this the uh, the stems I think we're good to go I think these are, are gonna be okay uh, and this is the one we repaired it's, it still hasn't been doing very well but it's not dead um, and it, it, it I don't think it's gonna be doing a lot this season I think that stem breaking kind of that was detrimental but we do have a lot of blooms here male and female um, and I'm sure if I hand pollinated more that we would have more squash but you know got a lot going on these days guys I'm not home very much so I don't get the, a chance to really take care of this stuff like I should um, but everything's growing well. Alright guys, this is Tom with Permaculture Wilmington. Hope you're having a good day.